The inventory looks like a box. There were some goods at the beginning, it's our stock balance. And then we put some products inside when we supply. And when we sell goods, we take from this box. Welcome to our accounting sheets. I have added some columns here in our sales report. This is units. Unit cost and total cost is units multiplied by unit cost. And we will need this total costs and units. And also there is supply sheet with shipping date, item and units and their cost. And we also have total cost of unit that we bought from our suppliers. And also in our items reference sheet I have added two columns with unit and units and with their total cost and this will be our stock balance and we will need all these three sheets to get our inventory first one is sales so let's first make sales report for inventory I will copy our report sheet and call it sales report inventory and let's unhide helper columns sheet name is sales we need item or better let's take item ID because it's more secure to take IDs they will never change but item names may change in the future so we need item ID with condition item ID is bigger than zero because item ID is numeric value then we need condition bigger than zeros to skip empty rows for here rep name we don't need this field anymore i will delete it sum by total price i need sum by units this column with id number five and also i need sum by total cost with id number 18 copy my formulas down and call these units in our alias column and this will be total cost I guess my report is already finished hide my helper columns and see the result is beautiful reports report of sales but we have units here and also let's check sorting order we don't need all this sort here but let's add sorting here by our call 10 it is sorted by item id height columns and now report is sorted by items ids and also i want to make this the same report I will duplicate and rename is it as supply report of inventory. All we need is to change sheet name in our settings by supply. And you see I also repaired this formula. Now it uses indirect. So we may just change our sheet name. And if this sheet has same fields, then you will see I hide my columns. You see the report is ready. So we make our reports very quickly and you may see um, our previous videos to see how we reached this goal. And let's also make our final sheet. Code inventory. Delete some extra columns. And make quick query don't want to make all these settings so I want just to make quick query to get our inventory report this is query formula and let's start our array first let's take our sales from here and include headers then 
below this, below is semicolon for making data data below. Then all our supplies from our supply report semicolon and also we need items but first item ID goes in column A comma next units and their total cost from here and we hit comma to make this data data go one near other then close curly brackets which means close our array hit comma and write query text select select our item id call one select sum of i units sum of units sum of co2 comma sum of total cost sum of co3 condition is where call one item id is bigger than zero and group by this column group by column one close our formula and get our sales report but it's incorrect right now and i tell you why that's because our sales report has positive numbers but when we sell goods we make our inventory lower so we take from inventory we take from this box this good so let's go back to our settings in this sheet and multiply sums by minus one by minus one which means make me negative number from this sum <laughs> multiply by minus one height settings height columns and see minus one now it looks okay because we sold these units and this is our cost of goods sold or cox this is also called cox let's get back to our inventory and we have items in our inventory and now when we sell new good we may count these items we have we may sell only 60 items because this is total amount of items we have in our inventory or 70 items of id number two and we may can calculate cost for them is just sum of total cost divided by amount of units copy this formula down and see this is the costs that we may sell them of course i know there are different ways to calculate costs there are also lifo and fifo methods but they are harder to implement in our sheets so let's ju just get average costs of goods in our inventory and sell new goods by these average costs oh, and when we sell new goods so let's for example go back to our sales report and sell one good of item 5 let's add this line and watch what we get I'll add today's date any sales rep let it be Thompson let it be item number 5 pen set and let's sell, sell one good 10 here and unit price let it be 20 go back to our inventory we have 29 goods with total cost of 290 you see this 9999 9, this is just imprecision you may round these numbers later and it is okay this 999 in period is just imprecision so see you next day in our accounting in google sheet series